So it turns out the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom leaks are officially getting out of hand. Find out all that and more up next. What up guys, this is KLO and I'm here to give you the lowdown on all things gaming. And if you're new here, feel free to subscribe to this channel for weekly video game news content. Drop a like on the video and welcome to the level up. So to ease you into the bigger news story today, something I wanted to touch on real quick was the fact that the whole Super Mario Brothers movie was leaked on Twitter. I myself came across the tweet along with 9 million other people and I just couldn't believe the whole damn movie was just out there to watch. Of course, the movie was divided into two separate tweets because it's, again, the whole movie, and within the seven hours of that tweet being up, it racked up about 200,000 new views every few minutes. So I guess while we're on the subject of Nintendo and leaks, let's elaborate more on those Tears of the Kingdom leaks. And I just want to say, in yesterday's video, I said this was a smaller story, but boy was I wrong. I also just want to say this in case you guys are worried about spoilers, I will not be showing any leaked content or diving into the story, so you can stick around if you're worried about spoilers. So earlier this week I said a few copies of the game made their way onto the website Mercari. The game was first listed at $100, then three more copies made their way up onto the site and were posted for $300 each. And I thought that was it. I thought that, hey, this happens. Copies find their way off factory lines and delivery trucks, but no, that wasn't the whole story. And as it turns out, the whole game leaked online. So on Monday, we got some images and videos showing the whole opening section of the game, and of course, that spread like wildfire over Discord channels, YouTube channels, and of course, Twitter. One Twitch streamer even went as far as streaming the game on Twitch for about 30 minutes before the channel was taken down at, quote, the request of the copyright holder. And of course, with that leak came growing concerns that the game will be ripped and posted online for emulation, and that seems to be the case here. And this happened in the past with games like Legends Arceus, Brilliant Diamond, and Shining Pearl, leaking two weeks before their initial release. And crazy enough, this story just keeps evolving, with the popular gaming news website Kotaku getting in on the action. So what does Kotaku have to do with Tears of the Kingdom? Turns out they posted a full story that goes over all the spoilers and all of the leaks in full detail on their website. And in turn, a tweet was sent out by the senior reporter at Kotaku reading, It's preview day for Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Unfortunately, Nintendo has it blacklisted for advanced coverage. A move I would argue is both unprofessional and coercive. Well... Let's start with not posting about all the leaks you had online. Nintendo, as it is, is very selective on what outlets they hand out review copies to and hand out passes to preview events like this. So yeah, don't spoil the game. But things are popping up all over the place, so just be safe out there in case you don't want anything spoiled for you. But with all that being said, I'm going to pass this question off to you guys. One, again, be careful scrolling online. I see people commenting spoilers under each Zelda post, so just be careful. And two, did these leaks kind of ruin the hype for this game for you? Because for me, it didn't. I'm just genuinely excited for this game and I can't wait to play it. But that about does it here. I've been KLO. I gave you the lowdown on all things gaming. And if you're new here, feel free to subscribe to this channel for weekly video game news content. Drop a like on the video and this has been your level up.